Pluto is a distant and somewhat elusive celestial body once considered part of our close-knit planetary family. However, recent provocative remarks by leading astrophysicists Neil deGrasse Tyson and Michio Kaku have thrust Pluto back into public discussion. They proposed that this icy dwarf planet could be on a potential collision course with Neptune. But how could such an event unfold, and what would the consequences of such a monumental impact be? Is this an example of unpredictable cosmic behavior, or is there something more significant at play? Join us as we examine the possible outcomes of a Pluto-Neptune collision. Once classified as a planet, Pluto, which was later redefined as a dwarf planet, continues to capture the curiosity of astronomers and space enthusiasts alike. Leading experts have recently raised concerns about Pluto's proximity to Neptune and the possibility of a catastrophic collision between the two. But how realistic is this potential scenario? Pluto's orbit around the Sun is unlike that of any other planet in our solar system. It takes an extraordinary 248 years to complete a single orbit, and since its discovery in 1930, it has not even completed one full revolution. However, Pluto's orbit is characterized by more than just its long duration. It has a highly elliptical shape, causing it to move much farther away from the Sun than the main planets. The most striking feature of Pluto's orbit is its significant tilt, which is about 17 degrees off the plane of the solar system, making its path much more erratic compared to the other planets. What is even more remarkable is the overlap between Pluto's orbit and Neptune's. For roughly 20 years during each orbit, Pluto actually comes closer to the Sun than Neptune. This raises an important question. Why has there been no collision between the two? The answer lies in the gravitational interactions between various planets, particularly those in the outer solar system. When Pluto was first discovered, astronomers quickly noticed that its orbit was unlike the regular, more circular orbits of the other planets. Its highly inclined, irregular orbit puzzled early scientists. Further studies revealed that Pluto's orbit intersects with Neptune's. Despite the seemingly chaotic nature of their paths, Pluto's orbit remains stable, preventing a potential collision with Neptune. The reason for this stability is a complex interplay of gravitational forces, often referred to as the three-body problem. This refers to the challenge of predicting how three celestial bodies like Pluto, Neptune, and the Sun will move and affect one another due to their mutual gravitational pull. One key factor preventing a Pluto-Neptune collision is a concept known as non-concurrent libration. This means that when Pluto crosses Neptune's orbit, it is always positioned at least 90 degrees away from Neptune, ensuring that their paths never meet. Another important factor is orbital precession, which refers to the movement of a planet's orbit in a vertical direction. In Pluto's case, its orbit moves in such a way that it avoids Neptune's path by staying far above or below the plane of Neptune's orbit. A third critical element is the VSK wobbling, named after three researchers who studied the gravitational influence of multiple celestial bodies. The wobbling effect demonstrates how the Sun, Neptune, and Pluto's gravity interact to maintain a stable orbital configuration. Despite the apparent irregularity of Pluto's orbit, this wobbling motion helps preserve its long-term stability. In the late 1980s, numerical simulations revealed that while Pluto's orbit may seem chaotic, small changes in its initial conditions would lead to significantly different trajectories over long periods of time. Despite this unpredictability, simulations confirmed that Pluto's orbit is stable over vast timescales, and the gravitational influence of giant planets like Neptune, Jupiter, and Saturn plays a key role in maintaining that stability. Interestingly, Pluto's orbit is in a special resonance with Neptune. For every two orbits Pluto completes, Neptune completes three. This relationship creates a gravitational lock, ensuring that even though Pluto's orbit intersects with Neptune's, a collision is impossible. This resonance provides an added layer of protection, preventing Pluto from ever entering Neptune's path. Despite their overlapping orbits, Jupiter's massive gravitational influence also plays a significant role in stabilizing Pluto's orbit. Jupiter's strong gravity keeps Pluto on a relatively steady course, and the additional support from Saturn makes the possibility of a catastrophic collision between Pluto and Neptune seem unlikely. These factors contribute to the solar system's remarkable stability, keeping Pluto safely on its trajectory. Yet, 
Despite these stabilizing forces, the future of Pluto's orbit is not guaranteed. The outer solar system is constantly shifting, and small changes in the positions or velocities of these planets could disrupt the delicate balance. An external influence such as the gravitational pull of an undiscovered planet or a passing star, or internal factors like tidal forces, could potentially cause shifts in the orbits of Pluto and Neptune, leading to unforeseen consequences. The relationship between Pluto and Neptune is not static. While current research shows that the two planets are unlikely to collide, changes in the outer solar system could disrupt this balance. This highlights the dynamic nature of the cosmos, where even stable systems can evolve over time. Leading astrophysicists like Neil deGrasse Tyson have weighed in on the future of Pluto's orbit, emphasizing the ongoing mystery and complexity of celestial mechanics. Tyson, who played a pivotal role in Pluto's reclassification as a dwarf planet, sees the study of planetary systems as a continuous journey of discovery. He views the evolving understanding of planetary dynamics, including Pluto's interaction with Neptune, as an opportunity to learn more about the universe. Tyson's perspective on Pluto's future emphasizes the unpredictability of space. While he acknowledges the stabilizing forces at play, he also expresses caution about the potential for dramatic changes in Pluto's orbit. Will Pluto eventually collide with Neptune? Or is this just another cosmic mystery that remains to be solved? Only time will tell. Despite the complexities of their orbits, Pluto and Neptune remain fascinating subjects of study. The potential for a catastrophic event between these two planets raises important questions about the nature of celestial mechanics and the forces that govern our solar system. Understanding these dynamics offers valuable insight into how the planets and other bodies in the solar system interact and how small changes in one part of the system can have profound effects on the whole. Pluto and Neptune's potential collision remains a topic of interest and concern, but the intricate gravitational relationships that exist between them, coupled with the stabilizing effects of Jupiter and Saturn, make such an event unlikely. As scientists continue to study the movements of these planets, they will refine their models and continue to uncover the mysteries of the solar system. Through constant observation and advanced technology, we may gain a deeper understanding of the forces that prevent Pluto from crashing into Neptune or perhaps discover new variables that could change everything. While the possibility of a catastrophic collision between Pluto and Neptune remains an intriguing topic for astrophysicists, it is essential to delve deeper into the intricate mechanics that maintain the stability of their orbits. The gravitational resonance between Pluto and Neptune, which locks their orbits into a stable pattern, provides a strong safeguard against any potential impact. This celestial dance ensures that while their orbits do intersect, they never come too close to each other. This mechanism highlights the complexity and precision with which the universe operates, where even the seemingly erratic paths of distant planets can be in perfect harmony. The importance of understanding these gravitational interactions becomes even more evident when considering the role of other massive planets like Jupiter and Saturn. The influence of Jupiter's immense gravitational pull cannot be overstated. As the largest planet in our solar system, Jupiter's gravity plays a critical role in preventing Pluto from straying too far out of its designated path. Without this stabilizing force, Pluto's orbit might become even more erratic, increasing the risk of a potential encounter with Neptune. Saturn's gravity also contributes to this cosmic balance, further securing Pluto's position in the outer reaches of the solar system. The combination of these gravitational forces creates a carefully orchestrated system that prevents any dramatic events from unfolding, such as a collision between Pluto and Neptune. However, this delicate balance is not immune to change over vast periods of time. The positions and velocities of celestial bodies can shift. This is where the concept of orbital precession becomes relevant. Small, gradual changes in the orbits of planets and moons can accumulate, potentially altering the dynamics of the solar system. Such shifts could be triggered by external forces, such as the gravitational influence of an undiscovered planet or a passing star, or by internal factors like the gradual decay of the orbits due to tidal effects. While the present state of the solar system appears stable, scientists are aware of the potential for these long-term changes. As technology advances, astronomers will continue to refine their models and observations, improving our understanding of the forces that govern planetary motion. With each new discovery, 
the mysteries of space become clearer, and we gain a better understanding of the complex interactions that prevent a catastrophic event like a Pluto-Neptune collision. The future of Pluto's orbit and its relationship with Neptune remains an open question. Despite the current stability of their orbits, the outer solar system is a dynamic and evolving environment. Understanding the long-term behavior of these planets requires continuous study and observation. As we gain more knowledge about the forces at play, we may discover new factors that could impact the future trajectory of Pluto and Neptune. The case of Pluto and Neptune underscores the complexity and unpredictability of space. Even with all the knowledge we have accumulated about our solar system, there is still so much to learn. The study of these celestial bodies is a reminder of the vastness of the universe and the many mysteries that remain hidden, waiting to be uncovered. The potential for a Pluto-Neptune collision, while unlikely, serves as a fascinating example of how small changes in the cosmic balance can have far-reaching consequences. It also highlights the ongoing need for further exploration and study to deepen our understanding of the universe we inhabit. In conclusion, the notion of a Pluto-Neptune collision raises important questions about the stability of the solar system and the forces that maintain its delicate balance. The gravitational interactions between Pluto, Neptune, and the other giant planets in the outer solar system work together to prevent such an event from occurring. Yet, the possibility of change over time, whether due to external forces or gradual shifts within the solar system, ensures that the dynamics of the cosmos remain an area of constant study. As science progresses, we may uncover even more about the intricate relationships that govern the motion of planets helping us to better understand our place in the universe as we continue to explore the complex interactions between Pluto and Neptune, it is important to consider the broader implications of studying these distant worlds. The solar system's outer reaches, often overlooked in favor of the inner planets, hold valuable insights into the formation and evolution of planetary systems. Pluto, with its unique orbit and eccentric characteristics, is a crucial object of study that can reveal much about the processes that shape the solar system. Point one fascinating aspect of Pluto is its surface and composition. Unlike the rocky inner planets, Pluto is primarily made up of ice and rock, and its surface displays a variety of geological features, including mountains made of water ice, vast plains, and a thin atmosphere. These features suggest that, despite its small size, Pluto has undergone significant geological activity over its history. The New Horizons mission, which flew by Pluto in 2015, provided unprecedented close-up images and data, revealing a surprisingly dynamic world. The mission's findings challenged many previous assumptions about the dwarf planet and sparked new questions about the potential for other worlds in the outer solar system to harbor similar features. These discoveries have implications not just for Pluto, but for understanding how other icy bodies, such as comets and moons of the outer planets, might evolve. Another key point of interest is Pluto's moon system. Pluto has five known moons. Charon, the largest, along with Styx, Nix, Kerberos, and Hydra. The gravitational interactions between Pluto and its moons are complex, and scientists continue to study how these moons affect Pluto's orbit and how they themselves may have formed. Charon, in particular, is noteworthy because it is so large relative to Pluto, about half its size, that the two bodies actually orbit a common center of mass that lies outside of Pluto itself, which is unusual for a planet-moon system. This unique dynamic raises interesting questions about the history of Pluto's formation and how it came to have such an unusual orbital arrangement in the first place. The study of Pluto also sheds light on the broader category of dwarf planets a classification that has been the subject of much debate and discussion in the astronomical community. Dwarf planets, such as Eris, Haumea, and Makemake, are similar in many ways to Pluto, and studying them helps scientists better understand the diverse range of objects that exist in the outer solar system. These objects often have orbits that differ significantly from the major planets, and they may offer clues to the early solar system structure and the processes that led to the formation of the planets as we know them. In addition to providing insight into the formation of planetary systems, the study of distant objects like Pluto also helps us understand the processes that govern the evolution of celestial bodies. While the likelihood of a catastrophic collision between Pluto and Neptune is remote, the ongoing study of their orbits, interactions, 
and the forces that shape them contributes to our broader understanding of the dynamics of the solar system. Each discovery adds another piece to the puzzle of how the solar system, and by extension other planetary systems in the universe, came to be.